our job as a responsible society is to decide how do we in enhance the safety of that activity, not push that activity underground. When we push it underground, that's when it becomes more dangerous. I have to take exception, you know, to the safety issue. You know, in the first segment of the show today, we had a 16-year-old who died as a result of, of obtaining drugs over uh, the internet. He thought he was getting cocaine and Percocet, which ended up, we think, laced with fentanyl. And, you know, in my mind, if it's legal, you're, you're going to open up Pandora's box that if, if anything, these type of events are going to happen more often than less often. Well, I think you just made my case uh, with the 16-year-old. Uh, you're right. It's, it's dangerous to buy drugs over the internet uh, in this unregulated way that enhances the danger. So you're making my point. Every year in the United States, there are 40,000 Americans who lose their life as a result of car accidents. Nobody's talking about banning car cars. What we try and do is enhance the safety. I'm suggesting we should enhance the safety of drug taking as well, not push it underground where you see those events that you described with the 16 year old. Driving is not the same thing as using heroin or crack. And we can't expect everybody like you, Dr. Carl, to use drugs responsibly because we know that there are people who just have a propensity to abusing drugs. In fact, it's not just some people, it's a good amount of the population. And sometimes you don't know what side you're gonna be on until you start experimenting. I've worked with a lot of patients who say, well, I never really thought I was gonna become addicted and I did. When we think about the opioid crises, the reason why people are dying uh, is largely because of ignorance. This activity has been pushed underground. And when I say ignorance, I mean that the vast majority of people who die from an opioid-related death have multiple drugs in their system. And one of the things that we know is when you take an opioid in combination with another sedative, like an antihistamine, particularly an older antihistamine or alcohol, it increases the likelihood of respiratory depression. If we are concerned we would say as a public, if you're going to use opioids, please don't mix them with other sedatives. Another reason people are dying is because of having tainted drug, something like fentanyl. If we wanted to solve this problem, all we needed to do is implement a drug, a drug checking facilities such that people can submit small samples of their substance and get a, re a readout, a printout of, of what's contained in that substance. And if something is, is, if there's an adulterant, then you know not to take it. That will deal with so many of these sort of problems.